Greetings, globe trotters and travel enthusiasts. Welcome to Short Stay Showcase and our journey to the beautiful city of Perth, Australia. Over the next few minutes, we'll unravel a three-day itinerary jam-packed with awe-inspiring sights, thrilling adventures, and hidden gems that make Perth a must-visit destination. From stunning beaches to pulsating nightlife, and from delicious cuisine to rich history and culture, we've got it all covered. So pack your virtual bags as we embark on this incredible journey. Before we dive in, show some love by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. These simple actions make a world of difference. They keep us connected and help us bring more amazing travel stories to you. With your support, we can continue sharing these amazing journeys with you. Our first day in Perth is all about exploring the city and soaking in the local culture. Imagine waking up to the vibrant city of Perth. The sun is gleaming, the birds are chirping, and the city is pulsating with life. First on our itinerary is the iconic Kings Park. Spanning over 400 hectares, Kings Park is one of the world's largest inner city parks. Here, we're immersed in a blend of natural bushland, manicured gardens, and panoramic city views. It's a breath of fresh air, literally and figuratively, right in the heart of the city. From the tranquility of Kings Park, we transition into the bustling heart of Perth, the Central Business District, or CBD. As we stroll around, the city reveals its multifaceted personality. Modern skyscrapers reach for the sky, while charming heritage buildings narrate tales of the city's past. The CBD is a bustling hub of shopping, dining, and entertainment, offering a myriad of experiences for every traveler. As the day begins to fade, we make our way to Cottesloe Beach. Known for its pristine sands and crystal clear waters, Cottesloe is a haven for locals and tourists alike. Here we are, watching the sun setting over the Indian Ocean, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink. It's a sight to behold and a perfect end to a day of exploration. Yet the night is young and Perth's vibrant nightlife beckons. It's time to explore the city's eclectic food scene. From gourmet restaurants offering world-class cuisine to quirky cafes serving delectable local bites, there's something for every palate. And let's not forget the city's vibrant bars and pubs where we can unwind and reflect on the day's adventures. After a fantastic day, it's time to refuel and prepare for day two. Day two in Perth brings us closer to Australia's unique wildlife and breathtaking landscapes. Our journey today takes us north of the city where the Pinnacles Desert awaits. This natural wonder, a vast expanse of ancient limestone formations, is like stepping onto another planet. Each pinnacle, sculpted by time and elements, tells a story millions of years old. As we wander through this lunar-like landscape, it's a reminder of the awe-inspiring power of nature. Next, we journey to the heart of the Aussie bush at Caversham Wildlife Park, a sanctuary that lets you get up close and personal with Australia's native fauna. Here, you'll meet the iconic kangaroo and the cuddly koala, among many others. It's a magical experience to hand-feed kangaroos, stroke a koala's soft fur, and learn about Australia's biodiversity from passionate wildlife caretakers. We cap the day off with a thrilling sandboarding adventure in Lancelin, a small coastal town known for its towering sand dunes. Grab a board, take a deep breath, and glide down the slopes. Feel the rush of adrenaline and the wind in your hair as you carve your way through the sand. Whether you're a first-timer or a seasoned pro, sandboarding in Lancelin is an exhilarating experience that's not to be missed. Day two in Perth isn't just about sightseeing, it's about immersing yourself in Australia's natural wonders, connecting with its unique wildlife, and embracing the spirit of adventure. It's about the thrill of discovery, the joy of experience, and the memories we create along the way. So let's take a moment to appreciate the day's adventures. The ancient pinnacles under the vast Australian sky, the intimate wildlife encounters at Caversham, and the thrilling sandboarding experience in Lancelin. Each of these experiences is a testament to Australia's natural beauty and a reminder of why we travel, to explore, to learn, and to experience the world in all its wonder. As the day ends, we're left with unforgettable memories and anticipation for what's next. On our final day in Perth, we dive into history and indulge in some of the region's best wines. Day three begins with a journey back in time at the Fremantle Prison. A World Heritage Site, the prison paints a vivid picture of Australia's convict past. 
Its imposing limestone walls and captivating tales of daring escapes and reformed criminals make for a fascinating exploration. Weaving through the cell blocks and underground tunnels, it's easy to imagine the lives that once echoed through these halls. From the prison, we make our way to the heart of Fremantle. The historic port city is a delightful blend of old world charm and modern energy. Walking through the streets, you'll be greeted by a tapestry of 19th century architecture, brimming with stories of the city's maritime past. Art galleries and boutiques line the streets, while the aroma of coffee wafts from the numerous cafes, enticing us to take a break and take in the vibrant street life. As the afternoon gently rolls in, we swap the cityscape for the picturesque Swan Valley. Known for its fertile soil and sun-kissed vineyards, Swan Valley is Western Australia's oldest wine region. We spend the afternoon traversing the valley, stopping at various wineries to sample some of the region's best drops. From full-bodied reds to crisp whites and even some delightful dessert wines, the valley's diverse range caters to every palate. Amidst the vineyards, we also discover a rich Aboriginal history. The indigenous people of the Swan Valley have cultivated the land for thousands of years, and their stories breathe life into our understanding of this beautiful region. As we sip our last glass of wine, the sun begins its descent, painting the sky with hues of gold and crimson. With the vineyards as our backdrop, we toast to a day well spent, brimming with history and fine wine. With the sun setting on our last day, we're ready to recap this amazing journey. Now, let's talk about some of the best places to eat and stay during your visit to Perth. Perth's culinary scene is a gastronomical delight, with options ranging from upscale dining establishments to delicious street food. Wildflower is a must-visit for a luxurious dining experience, offering seasonal Western Australian cuisine. For a more casual setting, head to the Globe, where you can enjoy modern Australian dishes in a lively, vibrant atmosphere. Don't miss out on the city's bustling street food scene either. The Twilight Hawkers Market is a popular spot, offering an array of international delicacies. As for accommodations, Perth has something for every budget. The opulent Crown Towers is a beacon of luxury and comfort, while the modern and chic Alex Hotel offers excellent value. For those traveling on a shoestring, the lively Perth City YHA is a great option, providing a friendly social atmosphere. With these options, you're sure to have a comfortable stay and taste some fantastic local cuisine. Wondering when to plan your own adventure to Perth? Spring, from September to November, is often considered the best time. The weather is pleasantly warm with temperatures averaging between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. This season also sees fewer tourists, making it ideal for those seeking a more relaxed experience. Moreover, the King's Park Festival in September is a must-see event showcasing a stunning array of wildflowers. With this information, you can plan your visit to make the most of this vibrant city. Before we say our final goodbyes, let's take a moment to reflect on our unforgettable journey. Remember day one, when we explored the vibrant city of Perth, its beautiful parks and bustling markets? The second day was all about adventure and wildlife. We had our breath taken away by the stunning views from the Pinnacles Desert and got up close and personal with Australia's unique wildlife at Caversham Wildlife Park. Day three was a fusion of history and wine, with a visit to the Fremantle Prison for a glimpse of the past, followed by a relaxing afternoon at Swan Valley, tasting some of Australia's finest wines. And who can forget the food? From upscale dining to mouth-watering street food, Perth's culinary scene was a delight to experience. In short, Perth offered us an adventure like no other. Whether it's history, food, wildlife, or adventure you're after, this city has it all. So, when are you planning your trip to Perth? We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share it. Please also consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you never miss when we post new content. And that, dear travelers, concludes our three-day journey in Perth. We appreciate your time and would love to hear your own Perth adventures and thoughts in the comments. Before you go, why not try visiting somewhere you haven't been before? YouTube thinks you'll like one of the videos that's showing on screen right now. Thank you for joining us and until next time, safe travels.